So we're going to search for some free type beat. Honestly, you just want to make sure that those beats get, you know, good views and the artists behind those beats know what they're doing. Just search for anything that sounds good to you. You can also go to BeatSource and change the price here to show free beats only. And then you'll be able to, you know, use this beat for, of course, educational purposes only right now dragging the mp3 you download it and extract stamps from the sample this time just the drums if you don't use fl you can just search for any ai stamp splitter you'll be fine so now from this we just got the drums out right and now let's just extract the drum loop itself let's say we take a loop like that and now let's make it unique as a sample and now in your channel rack let's open fpc and choose some of your favorite samples just like that and maybe have two closed hats one open hat maybe some rim and now open the piano roll of your FPC. We can detach it and now drag over the sample over here. And now you can easily see that, okay, this is a kick drum. This is hat, hat, hat. And we have a clap over here and we have some kind of like variation of velocity in the hats over here. So you can place kick first and then place your hats. Here you can see that we have some open hats. So we can do that. So if this is a hat, then here we'll have some kind of perk. This one like that in here, and it repeats over here again, right? Then we have some different open hat, so we could add that as well. And of course, you can see that we have a pretty quick hat like that. So we can do something like this and vary the velocity over here, since as you can see, this one is a little bit quieter, right? As you can see, we would like to make the open hat cut quicker. You can just decrease the attack and the release. We can add another open hat over here to make it a little bit different. Here again, we've got some variation. You can see that this sample is actually a little bit different. So we could, you know, try with Right? That's basically how it could sound. You can also see we have some hits over here. So we could maybe do that, maybe a lot quieter. And of course, you can change the note fine pitch. And the panning if you want as well. So we basically got this. from this. Now in FPC, if you'd like to have all of those paths in a different mixer track, you would need to assign the outputs over here, right? And if you assign your whole FPC to a new mixer track, basically whatever number you have set up here, this output will be added to it. So if we have our kick on output four and the FPC itself is on output five, this means that the kick will play on number nine. Also, you will not be able to change the order over here. You would need to change that inside FPC. So yeah, you can take a free type beat and extract drums to kind of recreate the drum patterns with your sounds. Now, other thing you could do is basically if you're working just on melodies and you know a few tracks that have really great drums and you want just to test out your melodies, you can just take your melody and the drum loop right and just quickly get inspired with different beats on top of your melody also if you want to quickly sidechain it just sidechain your drum loop to your melody and drop the multiband sidechain preset from our lord's back duck the full volume and increase the low Now let's say you have some old track of yours. So those are your own drums and you can turn those drums into really cool ambient kind of background top loops by just going and applying frequency shifter. You can then cut out some of the low end and then apply maybe some room reverb. You can also turn down the mix.
all that basically enables you to understand why certain loops work, what kind of sequences, what kind of patterns professionals use, and get inspired and ideally finish more music faster. You can also click edit the sample and open the spectrum analyzer over here and it will be even easier to see what's where and when since those are our high frequencies mids and lows so those will be definitely our kick drums here we'll have clamps right in the middle and all of those guys over here are separate hats also open hat will look like that while yes you can definitely do everything by ear but this can just help you get started much quicker very similar thing you can also do with for example your bass now you have the bass and you want to check how it's made, you can go to pitch correct sample and it will generate you all the MIDI notes that this 808 played, for the most part of course, and you can literally just click to send to piano roll, it will paste all the notes that 808 played into your piano roll, so you can just go and exchange the sample and just take it a few octaves up and take the velocity all the way up. You might want to quantize that, of course, and clean up those weird notes. Just so we can understand how the pattern was made and learn why it works, what are the common progressions, for example, what are the rhythms, you can just, for example, recreate the rhythms of the 808s, etc. With instruments like this, this pitch correct sample will not give you any good results. If you have Melodyne, there's a polyphonic mode that will enable you to dive deep into each of the elements in the instrument stem. There's also ways to do that with some kind of spectrum analyzers. You can do that with Wave Candy, going with scale to about three o'clock, increasing the bands and decreasing the dB range. And as you can see, you can slowly one note by note basically recreate the melody if you really want to understand the motifs behind it and never use it to steal anything from anyone. I know some people might say that this is teaching how to steal, but the type of people that would be capable of stealing would not be capable of going and recreating everything manually like that. So don't worry about that. Doing remakes and recreating tracks is actually one of the best ways to learn quick. If you want to learn even faster, in the first link below, you can try out our Mix Elite membership, where you get access to all of our courses, all the sample packs, presets, and midis we use in our videos, weekly live group coaching, and unlimited one-on-one -on -one feedback on your music from our team, so you hear improvements daily and get targeted tips for your specific scenarios. All this, of course, works on any style of music you make, whether that's trap, ADM, house, whatever. Now you know how to recreate pro drum patterns, would be cool to learn how to mix those. For that, watch this video next.